This average looking hamburger is anything but average. It's close to meat. Dutch researchers debuted the world's first test tube burger. Out of the petri dish into the frying pan and served up in a public taste test. Volunteers said the beef lacked flavor. The absence is, I, I feel like the fat. But the bite, you know, feels like, uh, you know, a conventional hamburger. Far from it, the burger was actually grown in a lab. Researchers put stem cells from two organic cows in a nutrient solution, which grew them into small strands of muscle. Developers hope cultured meat can help feed the world's growing carnivorous appetite. Most people just don't realize that, that the current meat production is at its maximum, and it's not going to supply sufficient meat for the growing demand in the coming uh, 40 years. Lab-grown meat might also help fight climate change by reducing animal waste. Some animal rights groups favor the technology, but a test tube burger could be hard for the public to swallow. I think it's great because um, I don't think people should be eating meat. I would eat meat that comes with anything because as long as it's on the plane, I wouldn't know what it was anyway. It's horrible, it's unnatural. While scientists say they can tweak the taste, don't expect to see these high-tech hamburgers on a value menu anytime soon. The project cost $330,000 and took two years to make two patties. Jeannie Ohm, Associated Press.